In this video, I want to show you a cool sample file that my team has put together to help show you how to easily integrate optical character recognition into a FileMaker solution. So OCR is optical character recognition has been around for a very long time. However, it's always taken a scanner or some sort of expensive online service to make it work. In fact, even years gone by, there have been FileMaker companies that provided services that did this. And of course, these days, a lot of people are going to all digital documents, but there are still situations where you have paper or there are paper archives and you need to get that information digitalized. Now you can scan a document and the scanning of a document will result in an image, but that image is not necessarily just text, it's a picture. So the idea is that we want to be able to take a document, scan it, it becomes a picture, but we want that text to be searchable in FileMaker so we can put the text into a field and maybe have thousands or millions of records and we can do a command or control F, do a find or a search in FileMaker and find just the records that we're interested in. Very cool. And so how do we do this? So first off, it's important to point out that we need kind of a use case and the most common use case I still hear today are people who have resumes or their HR management people, headhunters, that kind of thing where they're trying to place individuals into jobs. So I'm going to point out that we have this hypothetical resume right here. This happens to be a JPEG, but it could be very easily a PDF, which is a very common format. We see people pass that around as they're handing out their resume. So say that we are an HR organization. We are hiring people. We want to bring in all these resumes, but search them rapidly to find everyone who has, say for example, the word Unix or Unix administrator in their resume. Of course, if you have a picture of the resume, that's not really searchable. So we need to get the text out of this document here and into a text field in FileMaker that we can search on. So how do we do that? Well, once again, it's AWS to the rescue. Once again, this is Amazon's data center or their infrastructure technology. This is not Amazon as in buying cat food or cat litter or household items. This is about leveraging their data centers or their data center technology. So partly what Amazon does is they provide these data centers where people can park servers, things like that, set up virtual servers. They also have like 150 different services that you can talk to and leverage with FileMaker. Um, not just FileMaker, but in this case, we're talking FileMaker. And so in other videos that we have, we talk about AWS in terms of taking an audio file a spoken file and getting a text dump of that information out of the audio file. So it listens to the audio and gives you the text back in written text. Well, this is a very similar sort of demo, except this is the classic OCR where it's going to take a scan document, optically read it and give us text. So we have a sample file right here that's already set up by my engineering team. And so it pops up with this file right here. So, um, Basically, the idea is that you start at the top and you work your way down. So the idea is that you put in your document here. It has to be JPEG, PNG, or PDF. And so I have a JPEG file right here. I drag and drop it into here. The next thing we do is we press this button right here, which will upload it to Amazon, which it's done now. And then we say, process the OCR job. Now, if you were building this into a solution, you could have this built where you just drag and drop it into here and then it automatically goes through all these processes. But this is partly an educational process for you to learn how this works. And so we have the sample file here. You can look at the scripts, see how they're commented so you can learn how it does what it does. And so I'm gonna say, start the OCR process. And this will typically spin for a little bit of time. It depends upon the complexity of the document that you have. It depends upon the number of pages that you send because if it's a PDF, it could be more than one page. Additionally, you can specify different types of scan jobs. So what I would consider the classic OCR, which is where you just dump it like a resume or a paragraph of text or whatever you have, and it brings back the text. That's the most basic or simplest implementation that they have. However, they also have the ability for you to insert printed documents, which are forms like an Excel spreadsheet. Say you have a price list or an old medical document and so you have two columns, uh, it's a, a SKU number and a price, and it goes all the way down the page. Well, wouldn't it be great if you could do the optical character recognition, bring that data back, and actually put that into different records in FileMaker? 
Well, Amazon supports that. And so if you go into their preference section, you can see that there is text, text and forms, text and tables, text forms and tables. So basically there's three kinds of scans that you can get, but Amazon basically divvies them down into four kind of purchase options. However, the more detailed you get or the more you demand of it, like for example, the service that's bringing back the form data and finding the matching pairs on a, on a spreadsheet or a table, well, that costs more for Amazon to do. So at this level right here, where we're just getting the text, you can see it's done the work right here. If I zoom in on this, you can see that the text of the resume has been extracted and we have that text. So now in the future, if we wanna do a search for Unix, we can come in here in our system and do a search for Unix. So we have the text uh, dump of the resume. And of course, in a real system, you'd probably still also keep the container here so you could actually reference the original document. That would be a true HR solution or a true resume job candidate matching kind of system. So in terms of the service and the pricing, you can see right here that we actually are on the general information page for this service. Once again, Amazon has like 150 services. In this case, they don't really call it OCR because really this goes beyond OCR. They call it Textract or text extracting, right? Very cool. And what it has is it has different levels of extracting the text out. So it has the basic OCR text reading, which is really what we're talking about in our use case where we just need the text in the FileMaker so we can search on it. However, that's the cheapest service they have, which is really inexpensive. I think it's like one-tenth of a penny for a thousand pages or one penny for a thousand pages. It's stupidly cheap is what it is. And then of course you can come down to where it's a form, it's extracting the information on the form. And so if you're a FileMaker developer or a database developer, if I say value pairs, right? The idea that you have a field and a value in the field, that's a value pair. Uh, they say key value pairs, but the idea is that it's going to give you a JSON dump. Once again, that's a organization of text. It's going to give you the dump. It'll give you the, the fields, basically, or the labels and the data. And so the text dump would come back. If you can look down here, the text dump would say, name, John Smith, and address, and we give you this. And so that's pretty cool. And then, of course, it has table extraction. So once again, this is where so there's a table in the document, like a pricing table, and it would give you JSON that would allow you to then take that data and break it into multiple records. So this is really way beyond OCR. It's actually kind of semi-intelligent. Once again, Amazon is all into the artificial intelligence or machine learning kind of stuff. And so that makes it much more powerful. In fact, as I've been testing this service, one of the things it will do is it will come back and say, well, it reviews the document and it gives you its own uh, certainty of accuracy or percentage of accuracy in its own estimation. And so most of the time, the documents we're sending to it are screenshots or PDFs. They're coming back 95% accurate plus. The system is very confident that it has accurately represented the text. Um, in fact, in the system, in the demo that we set up, if you go through the scripts, you'll see that we are accepting any results, I think, above 25%, which is really astronomically a low percentage. But once again, you can take this uh, solution apart. So if I go ahead and uh, pop it back open here, I can go into scripts and you can look at this uh, and see how this is structured and set up. Once again, this has been commented pretty well done by Brian, one of our engineers at RCC. In fact, he's one of our FileMaker coaches and he's learning the business and he's quite a talented developer. And so if you have a chance to work with him as a coaching customer, you're very lucky. He has a tremendous amount of skill, especially in wiring up the APIs. And so that's what he's done. He's wired up these various APIs for us. It gives us great samples for you to play with, to learn how to integrate this technology into your FileMaker solution. Now, to be very clear, it's not for beginning FileMaker developers and probably really not for intermediate developers unless you want to get a little bit of help. Certainly an advanced FileMaker developer who's been doing development for a period of time and who has some level of comfort with interacting with APIs or consuming data through the API, well, then this is right up your alley. One additional thing to remind you to point out is that this demo file will work out of the box because we've incorporated a demo or test key with it. Well, that means that there is a secret key that's in this file that's registered to my company and we are allowing you to play with it. Now, the idea is that you can play with it, you can try it out, 
If you're one of these kind of people that take something free and you try to over abuse it, what will happen is we'll get a notification that you're doing too many demos of the technology and that key will be shut off, which means that these sample files will still work, but you have to put in your own key. What does that mean? You have to go to Amazon, you have to set up an account. Obviously, if you value the service, you're going to have to do this anyway, because you're going to run a hundred or thousand documents. It's going to charge you a dollar for that or something. So it's pretty inexpensive, but we wanted it to work out of the box. And in order to do that, we put a access key in here. These access keys are pretty heavily restricted. They only work in this demo scenario. Of course, someone could take the demo and abuse it. So that's why I'm saying play with it, check it out, show your manager, show your bosses, show people that you want to sell the service to, show other people that might want to use this capability, right? Get them excited about it. Once you start to actually use it and you're past the demo stage, then you're going to want to put your own key in. That way you're paying for it and not me. Once again, if we get people who abuse it, we'll just shut it off. And then so the sample file won't work. So if you get the sample file and it doesn't work, it's because someone else abused the demo. So I'm Richard Carlton, kind of a long-winded video, but to frame the conversation about optical character recognition and really the modern incarnation of that as far as AWS's services can provide.